Hello everyone and welcome back to the Glassnode channel. For this video, I want to partly run through our most recent checklist that we've just released, which is tailored towards trend traders and investors who are looking to get hands-on and leverage on-chain data to identify key market trends and momentum shifts. Our approach to building this set of questions and charts was that we can analyze various metrics across different time frames. And this allows us to pinpoint both short-term movements and longer-term trends. So you can think of these questions and the metrics that we've put together to help answer them as tools to help you spot when the market is either gaining strength or beginning to falter. So to kick things off, the first thing that we're going to touch on is whether investors are holding unrealized profits, and if they are, if it is improving over time. Because if we are seeing increases on both fronts, then it would indicate a strong positive momentum in the market. The chart we have in front of us to answer this question is the supply in profit trend metric, which we have applied a 90 day exponential moving average to. And this just helps visualize when the market may be shifting into more of a positive momentum phase, which is indicated when this EMA is increasing. On the flip side to this, if it isn't increasing and we're seeing a divergence between price increases and investor profits, then it would signal a weakening momentum, flagging some potential risks ahead. A good example of this was back here in this 2021 top, where you can see the supply and profit gradually decrease as Bitcoin's price continued to run higher. So following on from this, should this profit start to be realized, it's crucial to determine if there is enough demand to absorb the profit taking from existing holders. Because to have a sustained phase of positive momentum, it requires new demand to offset the sell pressure from these profit takers. A chart we can turn to for insights on this is the SOPA momentum chart. As we know, SOPA as a metric tracks the profitability of each transaction since those coins were last moved. And the advantage of using this variation is that we're able to compare the 30 day and yearly trends against each other. 30 day here is in red and the yearly is in blue. So it can help us answer this question by showing periods where demand is driving price higher, despite the fact that profits are still being locked in, hinting that new money is entering the market at a rate that absorbs any sell pressure that we're currently seeing. And this can really be key for understanding the strength of the market, because if we're seeing this start to drop, it would suggest that there's not enough buy side to sustain this momentum. There may still be some. We can see here, for example, that SOPA was still above one. So people were still spending UTXOs in profit but it wasn't increasing alongside the price, suggesting that momentum in the market at this point was slowing down. Also included in the checklist, we have some deeper analysis that focuses on SOPA and its key insights and use cases, as well as all of the other questions and metrics that can be used to answer them, making it a great resource for investors who are looking to track the market's momentum. You can download this checklist in PDF form using the link below.